Hello everybody, Drew from Langlois Vital Nutrition Center here with you. Thank you for watching. What I want to do in this video is discuss the sources of collagen that are available to us and some of the problems with the new collagen products on the market. So the first thing I got to say is that collagen only comes from animals. The only way that we can get collagen is from animals. And when we look at collagen, it's made up of something called amino acids. And I've discussed this before, but I want to make sure I explain it again for this video. Amino acids are the building blocks of different proteins. So think of it, if I'm going to use an analogy here, like your house is made out of bricks. Proteins are made out of amino acids. So the bricks of proteins are amino acids. And when we look at a collagen product like this one, we see that 8.4% of the bricks that build this collagen's house are called alanine. And 23.2% of the bricks that build this collagen's house are called glycine. 13.7% of the bricks that build this collagen's house are called proline. So, when we're building a protein, we're using amino acids. And in collagen, the amounts of three of those amino acids are listed here. Now the problem with some new collagen products that we're seeing on the market is they are labeled as vegan or vegetarian collagen, which is literally impossible. But let me explain why they're doing that. What they're doing is they're taking a plant-based protein like a pea or a pumpkin seed or an almond, those are all plant-based, and they're stripping everything away from it except for one of those building blocks. So they're stripping away everything from the pea until it's just alanine, and they're stripping everything away from the pumpkin seed until it's just glycine, and so on. And then what they're doing is they're taking those isolated alanine or glycine or proline, and they're mixing them all together in the percentages we know naturally occur in collagen. So it's a mimic. It's not truly collagen. All it is is plant-based amino acids in the same percentages as collagen. Now let me tell you what the problem is with that. As soon as we strip everything away from something until there's a single isolated nutrient, we miss out on what's called cofactors. Cofactors are little parts that help our body use nutrients. A really good example of that is vitamin D. Vitamin D is a cofactor to calcium because we need more calcium than we do vitamin D. But our body can't really use calcium without vitamin D. So the problem with any plant-based vegan or vegetarian collagen product is that they've stripped away the cofactors and made it very difficult for our body to actually use that protein. So when we're looking for a collagen, we always want it to be animal-based. If you see a collagen product that is plant-based, avoid it.